That was absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys seen that. I dashed and froze me mid-dash. Today we are continuing our brand new series. We started in the last episode with the new season available. We are leveling our fresh new rogue. Brand new character, fresh rogue. We are leveling him. He's currently level 15. In the last video, we actually went through together 1 through 14. We stopped it there and that was fairly quick. We did follow the path out of Kivashad to level really fast. We did come over here. Grab this Suller right here. From the Suller, we actually followed the season's journey a little bit. And then we also followed the events. There is an ultimate uh, path for experience. There's an event right here. There's also an event right here. Uh, we came over here, grabbed this Ministad, hit the event right around here somewhere. Then we came down and followed the path. Today we are working on the road quest since we are level 15 we are going to be working on the road quest and we are going to continue speed leveling so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this true potential which is going to send us into this forsaken quarry and since we are running flurry that is going to be amazing. All right, so in the last video, we actually unlocked Ministad following the ultimate leveling path for experience. By the way, Rax came out with that experience path. That is not mine. I don't claim it as my own, but I did put a spin on it. And if you feel like going back and watching that video and following along, I do have common cozy commentary with the gameplay. So we are going to continue this brand new series for this very first season. Grabbing the quest there, Leirana, is going to send us to our true rogue potential. We have to follow it. Of course, we've done this before. Flurry Rogue was absolutely amazing. Uh, by the way, we are. We just got Shadow Imbuement. And one thing I wanted to know, I wanted to mention, so you don't forget like I did. Open up your map. Hit W if you are on the PC. And make sure you claim all this. I went ham. I claimed it all. And uh, that also gave us not only one skill point, but also potion capacity. I did save one to claim together on camera now i did claim the first four because i got too excited so with that said let's go ahead and claim this this is going to be very very helpful the progress does carry over if you've played originally if you've played out of season one thing i want to do here is shadow imbuement primary explosion makes enemies vulnerable which is awesome let's go now that we have shadow imbuement i still have to probably put it on my skill bar but shadow imbuement will help us with a lot of damage if you are following along the guy is right here for the road quest. Of course, we are doing the road quest because we need combo points. That should give us a lot more. Okay, let's go here. I don't just waiting to see if we actually need to talk to him or if we can continue. The uh, the combo points should give us a lot more damage. So we are gonna continue with this calm and cozy commentary. Feel free to play along. I'm gonna take it a little bit easier. At this point, I am a little bit behind. Boom! Yes. Uh, I got frozen, but the Shadow Imbuement is absolutely amazing. Let's Shadow Step, pop a potion. We are level 15. Brand new character on the season. Don't have a whole lot of stuff, but we're doing good. So one of the most recent additions is, let's go ahead and jump behind him. Shadow Imbuement him, and he's just going to explode. One of the awesome things about this rogue is the Shadow Imbuement. And I also talented into Dash. I also talented into Dark Shroud. If you want to see the way that I'm going... I have uh, two points into Puncture, probably don't need both. I have five points into Flurry. I have uh, Shadow Step, Dash, let's see if they help me here. Uh, there we go, thanks a lot. And then we also have Shadow Imbuement, that is where we are. The rest we don't really care about. We're going to continue building. Ooh, I Shadow Stepped and it actually did not work, I don't know if you've seen that. So from here, we can actually hit the Cellar, the plan is to hit the Cellar, then we're going to hit the Forsaken Quarry, then we are going to hit the Stronghold of Malnak, and then we're going to hit Nostrava. That is the plan, we're going to level really, really quickly, or at least that's the plan, to level really quickly. Shadow Imbuement goes out, Flurry goes out. If we kill the enemies within 6 seconds of Shadow Imbuement, they explode causing damage. Uh, let's get out of that. Backstep again. That should stun him. And if we don't, they just take damage. They don't explode, but they take damage. So there we go. These guys explode. Shadow Imbuement is absolutely amazing. The only thing we need is some better weapons. And then we also need that aspect for the Flurry to go in a circle. And that should help a ton. Uh, by the way, one thing I skipped over. I am also using the Stark Shroud for the extra added speed. So that is what I like because we're slow. We're slow, we don't have a whole lot of movement speed, but we're going to get there. 
One thing I like to do is actually talent into Methodical Shadow Step where the enemies are stunned. And this is really good for really strong elite enemies, especially ones that are poisoned or ones that uh, stun you. Or, uh, of course, the frozen ones, right? So that is the plan. Also, uh, we're going to pop this elixir potion. So what can you expect from these videos? Well, I want to make this uh, slow, common, cozy with commentary. And if you are playing, you can feel free to follow along. If you are not playing, uh, feel free to watch these videos, see what this game is all about. I know a lot of people, including myself, like to kill time, whether they're at work or wherever they are, and they need to kill some time. I know people like myself like to watch these, and they enjoy gameplay progress videos with calm and cozy commentary. And uh, I, I enjoy all their videos as well with commentary, so that works out very nice. Actually... Right here, we actually get pretty lucky. There's an event going on right here. We do have a new potion. Let's see. I want to try to get a group. Let's imbue. And then they all should explode with the imbuement, which is nice. And that is a really good way to clear large groups of enemies. Dodging that by by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Uh, let's get out of that. We are getting stuck. So shadow imbuement is really, really nice. Once you find a groove, it clears things really good. Did not mean to dash out of that. But between the Shadow Imbuement and the Shadow Step... Oof. Oh, boy. We are completely stuck. Uh, between the Shadow Imbuement... Between the Shadow Imbuement and then also the Advanced Flurry, which stuns for two and a half seconds, we have a lot of clear. We also have a lot of CC, right? If you don't know what CC is, CC stands for Crowd Control. Just means we are controlling the enemies fairly well. Let's go ahead and grab this. I don't think we got this. There's a lot of enemies here. They are level 14. We do need two new weapons, but the experience is actually coming along fast because our clear speed is a lot faster now, which is really nice. So the plan is to level this guy as fast as possible. All right, jumping into the dungeon. I am going to be taking this a little bit slower and steadier, uh, maybe a little bit of a more relaxed pace with some calm commentary. I've been told multiple times that my voice is very calming. I do try to... Where did he go? Wow, that was cool. So he teleported, and I shadow stepped right behind him, and uh, that also teleported me as well. So that was cool. I don't want to get stunned by these guys. They do hurt. Uh, we are going to take a little bit slower so you can enjoy the gameplay if you are watching. I know from... I've done a couple of... I've done a couple of polls online on YouTube to see if people are playing, and 50 per, almost 50% 50 of you said you are waiting to see what happens. Uh, let's grab that. That is most likely going to be for a shrine somewhere here. So almost 50% of you are waiting to see if this game is worth playing, and you are just going to watch the videos and not play just yet because you're not sure if you want to purchase it. So this is exactly why I'm making these videos. Hopefully these videos are helpful. Let's go ahead and place that on the shrine. That should... What is it? Uh, invulnerable. Invulnerable is okay. We can just hang out. I was hoping for a little bit of extra damage. As a rogue, one of my goals in life, one of my life goals in this game is to clear things as fast as possible boom level 16 this is coming along really nice by the time we get out we should be uh level 17 which is kind of cool or close to it it's gonna be okay do we still have the shrine still got the shrine for a little bit i am watching the timer on the bottom that is a third buff so lots of you guys are are undecided lots of you guys are undecided right now I work long days, so at this point I'm a little bit behind on the seasonal progress, but it's only one day. Not too bad. I do work long days, so we are starting right now. There is a, a video coming out. By the time you see this video, the first video will be out. It's actually processing right now. So, this is episode two. We are leveling. The goal for here is to complete this, get our combo points, clear a couple of uh, strongholds. That should give us a lot of experience. Plus, it should give us some waypoints as well. And then we're going to see if we can hit level 30. Um, we're going to see if we can hit level 30. So that is the goal. Right now, what I want to do is I want to come up to core skills. And I want to put a stutter step right here. Critically strike an enemy. Grants 5% movement speed. And we want to be as fast as possible. Uh, we also have a little bit of movement speed on our boots. Not too much. I upgraded it once. 33% movement speed when we evade, so it is helping a little bit, uh, and as you know, or as you may not know, 
Ooh, Blast Wave. Let's go, Blast Wave. Rogue has a lot of mobility. Since we have the Blast Wave, let's go ham. Affected Soul, there is our quest. But for right now, I want to clear as many of these guys as possible because Blast Wave does a ton of damage. Let's Shadow Step. Did we put any points into Shadow Step? I don't remember. I believe we still need a couple of points. This guy blows up. There we go. Okay, we got an amulet. So the experience has come along nicely. Already 16. We started this at 15. We're already almost halfway to 17. And it's going by pretty good. So once we complete this, we will have combo points unlocked, which will increase our damage. Uh, do we need to talk to this guy? No, I believe we need to slay a few more prisoners. Oof, just barely made that out. I shadow stepped all the way in the corner. Let's go ahead and dodge that. Uh, this is very, very tricky. This is why I like Shadow Step, because not only can we dodge the damage from these guys, but also when they freeze, you can actually get out of it if there's enemies nearby. That was very, very clutch. I probably would have died there. All right. Wah, free prisoners. One more, two more, two more. And we're doing good. So if you hit the map, go to world map, hit W if you are in PC. Uh, we're almost there on Fractured Peaks. We get one more pushing capacity. We're right there. We got to talk to him. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, we just got a brand new necklace, which means that our flurry not only get stronger because of the necklace but it'll also go in a circle so the necklace actually will give us 50 percent power if we imbue it on the necklace so just because the stats are not fantastic we can still use it because once we get the codex of power out of the dungeon we can imprint it on anything that we want what happens now now we have to remember not to leave the dungeon True potential complete. We did get a new weapon. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. This thing is absolutely amazing. What a huge, huge upgrade. So that is complete. We get combo points, and that is the only thing available right now. So now with the use of combo points, we get stronger, which is good. Just in time. There we go. You can see the combo points on the bottom. I get completely slapped there. I want to pop the potion. I want to try and stay mobile if I can. So we don't die. We are on World Tier 2. By the way, I'm on World Tier 2. Um, for the extra experience, 20% more experience, 20% more gold, which is good. And you can see the attack speed's going up as well, so that's helping out. Let's grab this chest, see what's in there. We are doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Travel to the mine shaft base. So what I am going to do is we are going to complete this... And then we're going to move on, do some strongholds, uh, maybe upgrade our gear. We're already almost level 17. This is absolutely amazing. The music is creepy in here. Let's get out of that. I don't want to blow up. I don't want to blow up. Uh, the rogue has amazing mobility. And the reason why he's got amazing mobility is because he's a little squishy. He's a little squishy, but that's okay. We got the mobility. He does a ton of damage. So what we lack in uh, squishiness, <laughs> we make up for in damage. So that is really good. Oh, man, that was clutch. Was that not clutch, guys? That was absolutely amazing. All right. Level 17. Let's continue. We'll pop this malignant chest, which is awesome. That is a cursed chest. Cursed the chest, if you don't know. Uh, chests in general drop treasure, but they also have a chance to be cursed, which means they summon mobs. So before we can actually get the reward from the chest, we have an event to complete. And that, that is on the right-hand side. I want to get out of that because stuff blows up. That is on the right-hand side. Once the timer runs out, if you complete the event, you get rewards either way. But if you complete the actual event, which is called the mastery, that is the bonus on it. If you get the mastery, you get extra loot. Massacre enough enemies, so I want to get out of that. Stuff's blowing up, which is awesome. Uh, and since we are 8 out of 8 potions, why not keep popping them, right? I want to keep myself topped off so we don't die because there's plenty on the ground. Plenty of stuff on the ground. Elixir of Lightning Resistance. I feel like even though we have an elixir right now and we found that we picked up, there we go. Oh, this guy's frozen. We have to be careful. Um, I feel like even though I have an elixir that I picked up, I think it's a lightning elixir. Probably crafting an elixir. 
let's grab this. Probably crafting an elixir that has uh, thorns would be very helpful with all of the enemies. Look at all of the stuff, and that is because we got the mastery completed, and to complete that, we needed to kill enough enemies. And I'm also looking for gear. At this point, I feel like we're geared pretty well for our level. Um, I want to shadow step this guy, and I do want to put a couple of points into shadow step that stuns. As you can see, the the uh, our power actually is moving up a lot. The only thing right now that we don't have is the aspect of flurry, which is in this dungeon. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Dodged that. By the way, we have no powers right now, so we don't have... We're not generating a barrier. We don't have anything that'll help us survive. Uh, right now, we're just relying on raw damage and uh, movement. All right, let's see what we picked up in the last dungeon. Let's come over here. I don't think I'm going to break anything down just yet. I think I want to keep selling. By the way, when you are playing, don't be afraid to sell gear. Jumping back into the dungeon. I want to pick up some of this junk because this character is brand new. About an hour and a half old. Uh, and we are doing pretty good. So we are leveling not as fast as we're used to because we don't, uh, we, you know, this character, we don't, we don't have any aspects. We are just starting to get yellow gear. So the aspects will help a lot. We also don't have the run speed as well. So at the level that I was used to level and I really enjoyed it or at the at the speed that I was used to running dungeons, really enjoyed it. Okay, first boss, here we go. This guy should be okay as long as we dodge. Yep, some of that stuff don't stand in the puddles. Uh, a lot of this is just learning, learning what to evade, learning what to dodge. He is going to take a little bit. He's 17. There's lots of poison here. This is what happens when you don't have many aspects. <laughs> but we're working on it. Once this is clear, it should be very, very easy. I don't think I have an elixir of thorns. And I also don't want to waste my elixirs at this point. But we're going to keep popping potions. He's almost dead. All right, so we got him staggered. He is getting down pretty low. Um, I, he also takes extra damage. Shadow enhancement. If we don't kill him within six seconds, he'll just take a bunch of shadow damage. And there he goes. I think that was the explosion from the shadow damage. Region progress unlocked. We got two pairs of gloves. We also got chapter one completed. Den of Evil. Very good. All right. So the Forsaken Quarry is done. We unlocked our combo points. We are now able to imprint items. We did unlock one Codex of Power. Uh, the unfortunate thing is we don't have enough materials because we need to break down more yellow items. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit this Malnak Stronghold right here. And then we're going to go to Nostraza uh, one way or the other. Whatever you want to do. But first, we're going to grab this waypoint. And then we're going to go to the Stronghold. Let's go ahead and Shadow Imbune ourselves. And uh, we have to kill the three skulls. So that's what we're going to do. All right, since we are running, you can clear everything. You can clear some of it, whatever you want to do. Since we are running, we're going to we're gonna actually come over here, clear these guys. So once you trigger him, he's going to be invulnerable, which means we have to clear the rest of them. Uh, let's shadow step, stun him for a few seconds, which is really nice. And then if he goes vampiric like he did there, we can actually just dodge it. There we go. So I just put a couple of talent points into uh, Shadow Step. And uh, Shadow Step now stuns the target for two and a half seconds, which is very, very nice. Moving on. Okay, since he is Stormcaller, let's stun him right just like that. And uh, he's done. So this is a very easy. This is one of three. There are two more. Moving on to the other side. Let's go do this other skull here. We have uh, one more, two more. One more after this. Two more with this guy. So we're going to clear the minions. And then we're going to grab the other guy. That was absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys seen that. I dashed. And it froze me mid-dash. Shadow step. Control him. He's gone. One left on the other side. Um, yeah, we can either go back this way or come back the other way. Season progress. Tier 23 unlocked. Very cool. All right, moving over to the last side. Then we're going to go and clear the boss. The boss is going to take a little bit. We still don't have any aspects at this point, which is unfortunate. Um, we don't have enough. We have not broken down enough yellow crystals for us to be able to imprint aspects. We actually need to break down some yellow gear. 
get enough materials and right now we just don't have enough uh, and I'm getting frozen all over the place speaking of let's not die it's so easy to die here you get frozen for like two seconds and uh, you just die this game is merciless all right that's clear that's clear he's done man I really really like this guy the rogue feels good to play the mobility is amazing the damage is coming along nicely coming over to the other side let's clear the enemies around break him out of his frozen wall then we get to fight him uh, and then we get a new waypoint hopefully we don't die this guy summons a ton of AoE and we have to dodge it because it's all freezing we got luckily we got plenty of potions we are nine out of nine potions let's shadow step I don't want to get slammed by that you get slammed by that I believe it's a complete death because you get frozen um, and if he wants to just stand there that's fine <laughs> we'll take it <laughs> no shadow step behind him he, he actually decided to do something okay so that's the one thing we do have to dodge is that try not to die here there he goes that would have absolutely killed us dodged a little too early dashed a little too early uh, we got plenty of potions shadow imbuement use our flurry which is our core skill we can also pop the dark shroud as well that does help us to take a little bit less damage not much but it does help so once he's done we actually get to unlock this as a uh, the stronghold breaks right now it's friendly there we go so we got him stunned and he should go down there we go look at that we got some some gear some good things that we can break down so right now it's time to actually ring this bell a couple of enemies you don't have to kill them you can actually ring the bell but it does help so we're gonna ring this bell it's gonna go to a short cinematic now this is friendly which is really nice we conquered the stronghold and we also have a waypoint should be a waypoint here uh, maybe not maybe not so now that this one's done we can actually go over and do Nostraza which is really nice Nostrava which is level 20 by the way the strongholds are always two to three levels above you which is nice and by the time we're done there we should be level 20 Nostrava here we go so this one's actually kind of cool I enjoy this lots of things going on but we do have to clear this stronghold uh, I do want to also pop an elixir the elixirs are dropping pretty frequent which is nice I no longer have to craft them yeah so jumping in I feel like the one that has the thorns is very very good but right now since these are free we're gonna get the free ones all right speak with the priestess these guys come alive they are level 20 so we do have to be very careful wow uh, I did not realize that would hurt so much my life just went down <laughs> really really fast we we don't have anything on the flurry oh well that would be why the building is burning inside that would be why so right now investigate the villagers homes there's also a healing pot down here if we get in trouble I don't feel like we need to but this is kind of cool so this town is overrun and uh, we need to clear it clear the stronghold right make it friendly we do have some experience which is really nice and uh, by the way look what's down here increases movement speed from directly hitting an enemy that is right there which is kind of cool I'm really enjoying the flurry road all right shadow imbuement going out shadow step these guys really really hurt we're gonna wow the dash is really far we're gonna make her vulnerable um, check to see what's in here kill a couple of things in here boom everything blows up we are level 19 already which is absolutely amazing one more level and we get a new potion which is gonna be really really cool all right we got a couple more things we have to destroy on the map they are marked on the map for us makes it very very easy we are already level 20 which is or level 19 almost level 20 one more skill point the next skill point what do I want to do with this skill point I don't even know the next skill point is gonna go into shadow imbuement we're gonna focus on just doing more damage since we are a damage dealing machine we're gonna do as much damage as we can nice little saber there let's see if that's any good 
Is that an upgrade? That is a huge upgrade. Very good. Very, very good. Moving on. I feel like we're leveling pretty quickly. Uh, this is... We haven't been... We don't... We haven't really been playing for too long. I feel like this is coming along really, really nice. There we go. He goes down. Let's clear some trash. And then we're going to move on. I am really looking forward to doing some speed runs in the dungeons. Uh, more, more specifically, Nightmare Dungeons. This guy is absolutely amazing at clearing Nightmare Dungeons. So we are looking forward to that. Let's get out of the poison. Let's get out of the poison. Try not to get frozen. This guy also freezes. Uh, everything is on cooldown right now. Is he dead? He's dead. Shadow step. There we go. All right. Pop a potion since there is one right on the ground. So at this point right now, we are about, uh, what are we in? Two Less than two hours in. We are a little bit less than two hours in, and uh, we're almost level 20, so that's not too bad. I feel like it's going good. Of course, I want it to go faster, but two hours to 20, I'm sure it's doable much, much faster in a group setting. Right now, I'm solo on everything. Until my friends get on, most of my friends are working. I am recording this on Friday. All right, let's go. Pop a potion, Shadow Immune. Hopefully things will blow up. There we go. Makes it very, very easy to clear things around us. No drops there. And we got things waiting for us. Mm-hmm. The vulnerability, man. Whoever's making us vulnerable, the vulnerability just hurts. Okay. Clear that. Clear that. Go back to the main central hub I don't think we're going to hit level 20 on the boss but it's going to be close let's generate some combo points use flurry so this build is actually fairly straightforward of course we can't stun the boss there is three of them so this does get a little tricky going to be popping lots of potions oof yep speaking of potions Can we try to kill one so we take less damage? Uh, looks that way. Looks that way. Shadow Mew, let's pop a potion since it's there. The music is creepy. All right. One down. Two to go. I definitely want to get out of that because stuff hurts. Oof. Wow. Okay. Luckily, we got plenty of mobility. We can keep up with these guys. A little bit of chasing around. Gonna pop another potion since two more dropped. Shadow. I tried to shadow step. I want to get out of all of that junk. Tried to shadow step. Did not work out. But this one is almost dead. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, she went immune. Okay, here we go. Dodging that. Mobility is amazing, but there is way too much going on. Uh, gonna pop a few potions. She's actually dead. She's dead. We didn't hit 20, but we are very, very close. The only thing we got to do now is ring the bell. Coming over, ring the bell, rekindle the shrine, and now it's going to turn friendly, which is awesome. We also get the waypoint, which is really cool. So we are right there. Well, we uh, found a group of enemies, some archers. This should do it, or this should get us really, really close to it. This is exciting. All right. We got to celebrate the small things, small wins in life. Also, got some Galavine, which is nice for crafting the experience elixirs. And there we have it. There we have it. Level 20, which is awesome. New potion is available for us to upgrade. Uh, we can probably get some better gear as well. We can do some things. Maybe do some transmogs as well. Let's go to town. All right, coming back to town. We are right there. So we do have a quest available to upgrade our gems. Upgrade also our new potion at the Alchemist as well. So that is cool. And we are coming along really, really well. This is going to do it for this video. I'm going to stop here at level 20. In the next video, we're actually going to push to 30 from there, hopefully today. So that should be live today as well. And we're going to go from there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate you hanging out with me. 
do me a huge favor hit the like and the subscribe on the bottom leave me a nice comment let me know what class you are playing in the new season and for more bear cozy videos check out the top right